Hello and welcome back to another episode of Phoenix Point. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Iron Man, no, legendary blind playthrough of Phoenix Point. It is episode 107 and boy boy this game is just continuing to beat you down. We still have 76% of, of the population left. I have absolutely no idea if that is good or bad or in the middle, but I sure hope that this is not going to go all the way down to 25% and I need to play that long because that would be a marathon of 250 episodes. At some point, this game hopefully like goes on into its final chapter. My prime team is ultra OP at this point. The only thing that I need are the ancient weapons and then they are really, really, really strong. So uh, now we're going in with uh, not the prime team. Unfortunately not. <laughs> we're instead going in with uh, team Foxtrot, I think was their name. The F team. F for fail. F for 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 freedom's sake, can't you try a little bit harder? Why are you sending these uh, newbies in? But yeah, that's what we get. It's not the heroes that you wanted, but the heroes that you have gotten. False fire here. Uh, oh yeah, and I forgot to say we have like 22 strength uh, defense missions. So this is going to be not fun. Not really. Um... Sniperist, we could go with uh, more sniper damage minus willpower, and I think that's what we're going to do. Means less immediate damaging shots, but we will get uh, overall more damage per shot. Um, the quick aim, with uh, which is what I mean with immediate uh, damaging shots, will not be that often usable. Okay, uh, anything in terms of armor that we could take? No. Yeah. Nothing really that stands out. I think it's fine. Now this here is going to be a bit more interesting. Isla Sissi. Could take a sniper rifle and then a combat shield both of which are not bad items I'm wondering like the Redeemer itself is not a particularly great weapon let's not kid ourselves it it's potentially one of the worst weapons I do understand how the virus uh, mechanic works or at least i think that i do understand uh, it will the virus will always uh, drain your willpower and at some point you do not have willpower and you begin to uh, just pull your pants and run around now that is goes nicely together with induced panic however my problem with it is unless you're majorly stacking uh, willpower reduction and then continue to hit them I don't see a real reason why that is a great ability. On the other hand, the sniper deals 50 points of damage, which is better than not hitting any of uh, the other items. The shield could be useful. Maybe we can just park him and uh, he'll take a few shots for the uh, for someone else. So. He can tank a tiny bit. Shredding here uh, via the shotgun and piercing via the other uh, gun. Uh, that's not bad at all, by the way. Uh, we'll save these for the real teams. This here is the F team. So that weapon I personally don't like piercing as much because it's not really reducing armor, but this here is reducing a lot of armor and hence I like it. Shall we give you guys one mystery pella? Potentially. Also, we should give you a few more hit points. Okay, this is where the rubber hits the road. 
because Greta here will have a problem. She won't be able to do much. She's essentially relegated to armor penetration. And I'm wondering if we just use the Phoenix handgun because that's more accurate. Has a higher range, a little bit less damage. Poison grenades. Oof. I tell you what, poison grenades aren't that bad. Beggars can't be choosers. Do we have anything else here? We have a big fat Iraqi um, spider gun, which might be something that Sissy here can use instead of the shield. Tell you what, that's not a bad idea. And our melee for the time being could use the shield. Shield plus pistol. Decent combination for a frontliner. Good, we got mist repellents here. And I know that uh, we wanted to wait for the next uh, for the uh, next class here. What are we going to do with you, Greta? I mean, we could go for more hit points. We could go for a little bit more willpower. Perception and two willpower. That's not bad. Unfortunately, we currently don't have a lot of things that require willpower. And Berserker is a great second class, but not a perfect first class. So I'll just wait and try to get another uh, class going here. And I tell you something else. I reverted back to the plan with the grenade. And mind you, we're maybe even going to use the shield here. Manufacture. One, two, three four five can't have enough of these grenades they are actually really good good barbar super solid uh, character wish we could do a bit more with them Since I like the character, they will uh, get a bit of extra gear. Um, yeah, the only thing that we could do is pick another one of these here. But I think we're fine. And we got another Berserker. Again, decent, I think, good overall uh, setup. Are we a little bit heavy on the healing? Yeah, I think we're a bit heavy on the healing. Instead, let's take another grenade. Okay, no clue if this is going to be enough, but let's give it a try. All right, so we landed. I already see some enemies there, but I hardly believe that a Arthron and a single Scorch will be enough uh, to justify 22 strength rating. So let's explore a little bit.
we got a nice little sniper here. And I would want to put a spider over here. Islos is moving up. In terms of moving on, our heavy Nick has moved right here. Oh my gosh. But I can't war scream them. I can that must mean all of these Let's are civilians. Operative on the move. Okay. Let's check out the rest here. I knew it. Not good. We, oh boy, we got another sniper here and another sniper there. Mm. Civilian moves up. Let's just spread out the civilians to scout for us. I don't want to sacrifice them, but... Oh, look at that. I don't want to sacrifice them, but scouting is important. And I just found us our heavy. Our sniper could go to here and then shoot and shoot, or we're fighting the Skrilla. Hmm. Operative on the move. I think we're going to go for the Skrilla. Homes online. Sprinting. Let's get another operative. I love heavies. Ooh, nice. We got the flamethrower. Look at that. Oh, yeah. And we could even jump over here. That would be quite aggressive, but I think we could make it work. Or alternatively, we're kind of going here. Let's do this. Whatever we do, let's start taking uh, taking some of them already out. Look, we could go here, right? And then start to drop down on them. Or alternatively, we could go here. Uh, but there are two more enemies. This here Watch looks this. like a safe spot. That's one option. That's the other one. I think we need to soften up the Skrilla. So moving to here. Mm. 
No time to lose. And sprinting over, sorry for that Never scrolling deficiency. So, sprinting over here, what are we going to do with you? This I want work. that massive Skrilla to be taken down. What's the plan? Let's have a look. to here there was still a sniper around but I mean we could move up I guess Going and place in. our turret over here not a bad idea can't unfortunately throw the turret but we can deploy it good as for our own sniper false fire moves up taking aim and gets eliminate. the first kill of this mission. I like what I'm seeing. The extra uh, damage for him was well invested. Remember we took extra damage and paid with lower will for it. Yeah, that's not going to work out very well. Greta is going to stay around that building as we slowly but surely are working our way through it. Yes, uh, the frenzy head. Which is good for them because it's a large map. And he can spawn these little misfits. Plus seemingly just walk into the building. No one is safe when there is a Skrilla. A little bit further and he would have destroyed the staircase. All right, the right hand side, both of the melees might become a problem. This guy could reanimate as well, and all of them are frenzied. Okay, well, well. Ready for action. Let's just double check. This here would be a good place. I think we're placing the turret right over here. And in order to immediately do something with it, we're going to remote control into it. Aiming. Need to deal with the Triton there. But we also need to deal with that big, fat, ugly Skriller. 
Ooh, the shotgun deals a lot of armor damage. 102 armor removed. Okay. Okay. Alright, a few things here, right? That would be an awesome hit. And I think we're actually... Hmm. Are we actually going to do that? Hmm. Arms online. Jericho Sniper moves up. We have to hit and kill this guy. He is relatively sturdy. Greater moves up. Yeah, we'll, we'll come to that in a second. I'm listening. Let's check out our options first. Good. Skrilla takes damage, that in itself is already good. Now, the question here will be... Can we kill the Triton? We do have two shots, or alternatively, we're just using this here. The guy hurts a lot, so we can't just ignore it completely. This is likely the best shot that we will get. actions from everyone is also the right play now spiders and more spiders make up for good combinations I think we could hit uh, the guy, but we won't be able to kill him, not with our power alone, which means it's up to Greater to set up the kill. One, two, and we're moving back, which then brings us to the actual kill okay cool done deal now on to the other options here we could move over and basically war scream over here The other option is we hit the guy downstairs and we can even hit him twice if need be. Yet another option is to move up and hit that guy. I'm going. 
Executing. Which I think could be the preferred one. No ranged weapon, only melee weapons. Okay, we're blocking the entrance to the uh, the access to the roof, which is good. Polina moves up. Let's remove armor. Zooming in. Trying that again. Very good. Polina remains exactly there. Let's see now. And we have nicely started to fry him. He's bleeding. The moment that he moves, he'll take more damage and we should be okay. I'm here. Overwatching. End of turn. a nasty hit 80 poison that's a lot of damage that on the other hand is a complete waste of a mind fragger yeah control that civilian be my guest Quite a long shot. I wonder what that gun does. Looks new. Might be that ranged uh, disabled gun. That's a real sniper, though. I uh, distinctly recall the sound. Some more spider drones out. We need to hit the Skrilla with a scream. Uh, with a scream. Hmm. I know how we're doing it. Moving up. <laughs> that was the willpower we needed. And we're moving a bit further away from him. Okay, cool.
Good, he will die. There's a chance that he will respawn, so I'm not going to kill him, not now. Confirming target. We still got armor break as an, uh, as an availability. I don't need to do that on the smashers and the carapace is already broken. This thing is attempting to acquire One, target. Two, still active. Three, all misses and get him back into cover. Got a problem over here. But I can't deal with all of the problems at the same time. Three hundred fifty damage is exactly what I would want to see. Teaching that Skrilla not to mess with us. Three fifty. Turret is doing work. I like it. Hundred seventy. And another hundred seventy. Okay, cool. Yes. Just give the word. Our best course of action is now to just focus fire. Should have thrown that on the ground. He's unfortunately not as burning as he should be. Identifying target. Respawn? No, please not. Well, it is a respawn. Great. It means we will need to do that. And a little bit of that. And a lot of that. Uh, we could also hit over here. Because we're being flanked. And I want that guy to go down. The other alternative is the snipers back here. Nope, didn't work out. Okay, cool. Well. to move back that is satisfying I need to learn about the snipers so 
There's no other way then to scout out where those guys are. Civilian will continue to block here. to just deliver more enemies we on the other side are going to stay in cover I think we have a solid position overall okay this guy here is causing a few problems Almost got the Skrilla down. Once he falls, I think the rest will be easier to execute upon. Oh, oh yeah, it was the paralysis uh, weapon. <coughs> Holy shit. Okay, so we have a couple of issues to deal with. Number one, this guy down here. Ready, sort of. Can't let right him angle. go on forever. Number two, we need to get everyone in frenzy. Okay, very good. Bit of a virus, I don't know how many will points. Well, he still is pretty good on will, so that might not make a huge difference. I want to recover Nick up here. Who apparently is incapacitated at the moment, so that won't be any recovery. No, he's already, he's panicked. Okay. Well, so we got to deal with this guy. Uh, standing by. Don't have the will points to continue firing. I think we'll just recover for next turn. In the meantime, we're focus firing on the Skrilla. It's the small chance that we could hit uh, this guy over there, but instead, I think it actually makes more sense to go for the Skrilla. Success. Online. All I need is a clear shot. Good, we're continuing to dish out as much damage as we can. Unfortunately, he has a lot of hit points. Can we deal 600 more?
mean, we could fly over to here and basically war scream, which I think will be the more important task. Or cry there. Skrilla is down. Doesn't really matter what the little mind sucker does. Need a better shot next time. We took off the pincer. The right angle. And we're moving further in, just to keep the Cypress busy. Literally can't do anything up here. Nick, I don't know why he still has two actions left over. Ready for action. He shouldn't. So we're ending the turn. Regaining some momentum. Unfortunately, the mind fraggers are amongst us. Oh, <sighs> the civilians. This will not be a mission where we're earning a lot of extra points for the civilians. But what am I supposed to do? Someone has got to take the heat. My biggest challenge with this group is we don't have the big uber tools to get rid of. Oh, but he just hit his friend. We don't have the big uber tools to get rid of all of uh, the enemies. Basically relying on a lot of shots in order to get the Skrilla down. 20 hit points. No, he wouldn't even die. Have to focus. Okay, well, at least one of them is dead. Barbor moves up. Out of the ammunition, reload, good. Ready for action. Zooming in. Yeah, nice. Well, that'll save us some time. Nick up here is still out of commission. We have not enough willpower to get okay. everybody down. Here goes nothing. No, here indeed goes nothing. I'll try it. Still 
Good, and we're going back into cover. Let's do this. Target located. Yeah, I don't... No, we don't want to fight against the snipers. Not on that range. I need... There. Target missed. Eyes open. Okay. So open what is now, the rest please. doing? I think we have moved everyone. Ah! End of turn. Oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> not gonna make it. Run! <laughs> Okay, we're going to have a really poor will score of everyone involved. Because our civilians that we used as scouts are now gone. fire overwatch is good I think we need a new frenzy Nick up here is still trying to dish out damage it's one of them Then moves up and puts up a shield. What's our move? Moving fast. We need to close in that massive distance. Can't defeat the snipers with ranged combat. That's Simply not going to work. Target sighted. Moving as fast as I can. But we can move in and we can kill them. But we will need to do it as a team. Corpse unfortunately won't go away. Babor moves up as well. Ready ish. On my way. New Jericho sniper moves up. Overwatches. And our technician moves up. All right, done. <laughs> he still has a stupidly long movement range. Unbelievable. Okay, everybody gets friendly. And we'll deal some damage. Polina moves up. 
Hammer. And the guy is almost down. There we go. Now moving up on the other side. I'll, I'll be okay. We again, need to regain willpower. Got a visual. Be right there. Okay. Successful. Well, he's standing in the open there. Yes. Loud and clear. Regaining the shield. Yeah, and Nick is pretty much out of the fight here. Moving out. Holding position. That paralysis rifle is okay, nasty. Receiving. How can we get over there? Likely just by moving in and circling around him. Ready for action. All right, end of turn. This is so stupid. Their invisibility is incredibly punishing. Still standing very close. Ready for action. Regaining the head. And whilst we're at it, heal up, please. Repositioning. New Jericho Sniper is going to be our scout. Got a visual. There I'm we on go. Move. And no more hiding. Engaging. You're done. Target hit. Well, he's not yet done done. But yeah, very soon he will be. Ready. Good, we're moving from both sides. Can't really do much with one AP. Let's do this. But I know what we can do. Greta can move up next turn. 
and with her quick quick legs teach him about the value of uh, being humble both of our berserkers polina as well it's moving in for a shot Okay, that was potentially your last mistake. Ready? Ish. Well, look at you. Ain't that funny? Now you're running for your life. Okay, we got him very nicely down. But I want the satisfaction of the pixel kill. Alright, false fire. Gets the mind fragger off and we're done. That was a costly mission. One civilian survived the whole ordeal. Well, at least the entire haven is still well and alive. Boy, that was intense. Whew, okay, we got out alive. And even got some goods in return for trade. Very nice. Now, bases. I know we wanted to build a lot of archaeology labs. Then it's in Brazil. Yeah, I think we're done. We don't need more. We're okay. The Pandoran layer needs to be cleared out soon-ish. But yeah, the team, the Foxtrot team for being the bottom of the barrel, so to speak, has done a nice job. It worked better than I would have anticipated. Specifically think about it was strength 22 in the defense. The Skrillas are... I was very afraid of them at the beginning, but they are becoming more and more one of my favorites. Because as much as they individually are a terror, if you think about it, they only have like one set of actions and typically if they are worth 15 points, which apparently they, they are, if you compare that uh, with just the, the quote unquote net worth of uh, the others, if I get like six snipers instead, then I would rather uh, fight the Skrilla than six snipers. Granted, once you are within the territory of the snipers, you're potentially going to obliterate them completely, but the Skrilla itself, yeah, you can typically focus fire them down quite well. So, general game plan now is A team is going to take out this. Then moves on to take out this and this, which is three. And we still, for whatever reason, can't fly over here. I'm hoping that the repairs will be fast, 24 hours. We're going to see if, uh, if we can finally fly over. 
that would be good. So the name of the game is getting rid of all of uh, these things and maybe I'll just do that uh, with the TMA team here, which yet again is a, I think it's the Echo team. No, 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 that's the Foxtrot team. The one that we've just seen was the Echo team. This here is the newest team. They don't even have weapons equipped. Okay. Good. I think we defer the Pandoran layer uh, to the next mission. Maybe we're doing a double Pandoran layer, this one, and then clean out of the nest whilst the A team continues to fly over here. Still, we need more mutagens, so if I could get some more mutagens, I think we uh, that would be good because we wanted to get more of uh, these creatures for our bases. And maybe I can even take one on a journey. I think it's worth three slots, so not sure if that's a good trade, but at the end it is just costing mutagens, so that's not bad either. In terms of equipment, I like the fire uh, thrower a lot, so that could be something very valuable. The shield, uh, that was great as well. Should have built that much earlier. Uh, with a shield, uh, we we do we can use the heavy really as a frontliner. Okay, so general game plan is laid out. Let's execute on that and see you guys in the next mission. There is one more thing to execute on, which is try to execute uh, the like button. Uh, snipe it and tell me whether or not you have been successful with hitting it. Thank you and have a good one.